Welcome to Swamp Bat Nation. My name is Brooke Johnson and I am your host for today. Today we have two pitchers, Tommy Doyle and Bennett Su Souza. Welcome, Tommy. Hi. Thank you for having me. You're here with me today and I just found out that you guys won the College World Series for baseball. Mm -hmm. How'd that feel? Uh, it was pretty surreal. I've never had anything happen like that, so uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, we get to bring home a championship ring, so. Where is your hometown, and can you tell me a little bit about it? Uh, I'm from Vienna, Virginia. It's about 10 minutes outside of D.C. Uh, it's a small town, just like this. Uh, yeah. Where do you come from, and do you have an athletic family? Uh, I've been... F I uh, live in Vienna for all my life, and uh, I do have an athletic family. Uh, all my siblings played college sports, as did my parents. So, Are they good at it? Yeah. Uh, my sister is probably better than me, but it at is. At baseball? What it, no, at, uh, she plays lacrosse for Bucknell. So, yeah. Do you have any pregame superstitions? Uh, I just have uh, a game that I play before every game. It's called two ball. We play with all the pitchers. It's like we toss the balls back and forth. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Is it when you guys have like one ball in one mm -hmm. hand and yep. then they toss it? Yep, so we do that and uh, that's, only, that's my only superstition. Have you always been a pitcher? Uh, I have, yeah. I played other positions as well, but mainly just a pitcher. What attracted you to play, play as a pitcher? Uh, uh, maybe just having the ball in my hand at all times. Just like being able to control the game and if you pitch bad then like it's on you but if you pitch well like you, you feel good as well so it's just like having that aspect part of the game. How old were you when you started to play as a pitcher? Uh, I was probably about five like t-ball ish. So uh, you've been playing all these years? Yeah I've been playing for a long time. Oh wow. Do you have any other hobbies except for baseball? Uh, I play basketball and uh, ping pong, stuff like that, frisbee, all that stuff. Is that like at home or competitive? Uh, I used to play basketball for high school, but then I uh, switched just to play baseball. Um, and then frisbee and ping pong is just for fun with my friends. Do you ever miss playing baseball when, you're, when it's the off season? Oh uh, yeah, um, I didn't think I would, but once you get in the off season, you're kind of just like, okay, I want to, I want the fall to start and all that. So, what is your favorite thing what, what, that you got when you went to Omaha? Uh, we got a lot of free clothes. That was pretty fun. Uh, every day or every other day, just getting new stuff that we get to wear and show off and show all your friends back at home. That was pretty cool. Is there anything about Keen that surprises you? Well, you haven't been here that long. Uh, yeah, so I've been here for like a day or so, and I noticed all the lakes. It looks pretty cool. Maybe go out and fishing or tubing one day, maybe. What goes through your head when you're on the mound? Uh, I try not to focus on too much. Um, just the, like the pitch, the location, uh, the situation. If I like, get the ball, what do I do with it? Uh, I just try not to think too much because when I do, that's when bad stuff starts to happen. So. Can you still hear the crowd? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes I drain them out, but if I hear like one fan screaming, then maybe, you know. Have you ever pitched a whole game? I have. It's been a while since I pitched a whole game, but in high school I used to. What are you studying? For, what is your major in college? Uh, I'm a psychology major with an astronomy minor. What do you do for fun? Uh, for fun, I like to weight lift or uh, hang out with the guys on the team, play video games, stuff like that. Do you ever practice baseball when you're off season? Yeah, uh, a lot of the stuff is training just to get better for next season or lifting to get stronger. And uh, Yeah, I yeah. lift too. Yeah. <laughs> Are you left-handed or right-handed? I'm a right-handed pitcher. Are you an early riser or a night owl? I'm an early riser. Yeah. You are? Yeah. So, yeah, I was in bed at one today. <laughs> Still in bed. What school, what school are you attending to? Uh, University of Virginia. Um, what, were you guys undefeated on the Virginia team? No, we, uh, our record was like 42 and 20, I want to say, by the end. 
So like we had like a decent amount of losses, but yeah, there's a lot of games we played. Is this your first season, like having um, a host family going to a wooden bat? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the first season uh, I was playing summer ball, and uh, as of right now, I enjoy it. I like my host family, and I like it here. So, what was your favorite meals when you got there? Um, they just took us out to this restaurant. Uh, it was like an Italian restaurant. We got lasagna. That was pretty good. So, do you have any goals for this season? Uh, I haven't really made any yet, but uh, hopefully to pitch a lot. I mean, that's the plan, but no, no goals really. Do you ever, do you ever think like you want to be in the game more than you aren't, like are? Yeah, sometimes I think like, oh, I wish I could play first or something like that instead of just sitting on the bench. But uh, yeah, because I noticed that there's a lot of pitchers on that team. Yeah, there's a ton, and uh, the games are long, so sometimes keep you like in the game. You should play a position, but I'm only a pitcher, so I can't play anymore. What do you like for desserts? I'm not a big desserts guy, but um, I like ice cream and cookies. I like cookies. That's about it, yeah. I'm not a big desserts guy. Do you usually eat healthy? Yeah, I try to. See, I try to, but it never ends up working. <laughs> what is your favorite restaurant back home? Uh, it's called Coastal Flats. It's uh, like a seafood kind of restaurant and has good calamari, so. I like calamari. Yeah, I love calamari. Um, do you have any pets? Like, how many pets do you have? I have one dog, his name's Tucker. He's a golden retriever puppy, and uh, he's a, it's a lot to handle right now. He's six months, so he's pretty oh, fun wow. to play with. What is your favorite place for a vacation? Uh, I have a beach house in Bethany uh, in Delaware, and we like to go there a lot, and hang out on the beach and go on boardwalks and stuff like that. Do you have any like funny stories about the season? Uh, yeah, season? there's a lot of funny stories. Um, hmm, there's a lot. Uh, well, just a lot of stories like in the locker room where guys would just be goofy and like do stupid stuff. Um, or like tell stories of what happened in summer ball, like either here or somewhere else and just stuff like that and it makes us laugh. What what really told you like when you wanted to, like what inspired you to play baseball? Uh, my older brother played baseball at Harvard so that kind of gave me the incentive to... Harvard? Yeah, so that kind of gave me the incentive to go out and try my best and see if I can match him or beat him or whatever, so. He must be smart. Yeah, he's very smart, he's smarter than me. So. Yeah, my sisters are going to Harvard too. Really? Wow. Well, I think so. Um, is there anything about you that you think would be interesting for the audience? Uh, I have a twin sister. Yep, and she plays across the buck now, so. You have a twin sister? Yep, twin sister. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really all the questions I have for you today. Okay, thank, thank you for you. having me. So, yeah, now we just sit here and wait. Now we're going to video. We'll be back in a short amount of time.
center fielder, number one, Lucas Luca. Welcome back. We now have Bennett Souza. He's also a pitcher, as you probably know. First question. Oh, wait. Welcome. Thank you. You guys just won the College World Series. Mm -hmm. What is it like to be in front of 25,000 people? It was unbelievable, to be honest. Uh, I've never been in a crowd like that before. Um, just seeing all those people out there and cheering for you and yelling guys on our team's names, it's, it's unbelievable. It's nothing like you've ever experienced. Do you have any pre-game superstitions? I've uh, worn the same pair of sliders since my junior year of high school. Obviously washed them, but uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've worn them through high school. And recently I had to make some cuts in them because they were getting too uh, tight on me. So yeah, but I'm keeping it going. Where do you come from? And can you tell us a little bit about it? I'm from North Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, Florida. Yep, I live really close to the water. I love being on the water and going to the beach. Um, so yeah, it's, I miss I haven't been back there since December because I've been traveling all over the place, but uh, hopefully I'll get back there before school starts again. Have you ever had any problems with weather there? There's some hurricanes there sometimes, but um, for the most part, it's just sunny and a couple of rainstorms here and there. Have you always been a pitcher? Uh, I was actually outfitted in first base all through high school. Um, but since I got to college, I wanted to focus on pitching more, and I decided to become a pitcher. Did you pitch when you were younger? Uh, I started pitching, I think, when I was in seventh grade, and I just fell in love with it since then. So when you were 12, 13? Yep, yep. What made you become a pitcher? Uh, somebody told me I was good at it, so I stuck with it, and um, it worked out for me so far. So, yeah. Do you have a supportive family? I do, very supportive. Yeah. Sometimes too supportive. <laughs> Me too. Do you have any other hobbies except for baseball? Uh, fish all the time at home. I like fishing. Yep. I'm supposed to go horn pouting soon. Really? We got to go together then. Um, but fish, I love to go to the beach, play basketball. Uh, really, and I like to play uh, video games too. Gotta so do my sisters. Game. Yeah. What is this your first time playing on a wooden bat league? Uh, I think, yeah, I think so, to be honest. But I've stayed with the host family before. You have? Yeah, in uh, my junior summer of high school in North Carolina for Term of the Stars, the USA thing, I stayed with the host family. Were they nice? Yeah, they were very nice, and they st still keep in touch with me today, which is really cool. Yeah, we still keep in touch with our Swamp Bats, yeah. like Robbie Coleman. Right, yep, yep. Is there anything that you like besides baseball? Uh, like I said, fishing. I love to fish. Um, I like watching Netflix all the time. I get real lazy and just sit on the couch all day and watch Netflix sometimes when I have a Me day too. off. Me too. I yeah. feel you. Yeah. What do you feel like when you're on the mound? Uh, I feel like I'm in control. Um, I know that the outcome of the game kind of relies on my shoulders and I like that. Um, I like being able to dictate how the game goes and have the momentum in order, good momentum or bad momentum. I think that's one of the best things about pitching is you know, you're in control the entire time. Because pitchers pretty much have the ball the entire game. All the time. Yep. Unless yep. they hit it, which <laughs> hopefully doesn't happen. <laughs> what do you do, do, do during the off season? Well, right now is the off season, so I guess I'm playing more baseball, but like I said, I just hopefully get to go home sometime and go to the beach and 
and fish and go on the boat, which is what I like to do. I like to go tubing a lot, too. What kind of boat do you have? We have a 26-foot CV boat. Don't yeah. know what that is. It's a type of boat, yeah. Have you ever pitched a perfect game? I have not. I pitched a no-hitter before in high school, but not a, not a perfect game. Have you ever pitched a whole game? I have, yep. One, uh, two times in high school. I haven't done it in a while, though. Do you recall how many um, strikeouts you've ever gotten? Or is there too many? It's, no, I just don't remember. It's been so long. What do you like to do for fun, except for fishing? Um, let's see. I go to the mall at home. Uh, at school, me and my buddies, we, uh, we, I mean, we're always at the baseball field. That's the problem. But, you know, we like to hang out, play video games, like I said. We have video game tournaments here and there. Like the Swamp Bats, they don't really... Like, they don't have any days, like, they just really right. practice. They practice yeah. before every game. Right, yeah. Do you, what um, school are you attending and what is the major? Uh, University of Virginia, and my major right now is history. History. Um, yep, but oh. I, we can d declare it any time we want. I haven't made it final, though, yet. Because a lot of people are doing sports manager mm -hmm. management. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you have any future goals? Uh, for this summer, really, just to get some innings in and kind of get the feel of pitching again and go back next year and get a lot of innings there and win another championship. When you're on the bench, do you ever feel like you want to pitch more? Oh yeah, of course. Of course. I always want to be out there. What Do you have any funny stories you can tell us? Um, there was there's one of the this season that uh, in the ACC tournament my buddy, Matt Dowdy, who's a pitcher on Virginia 2, he was in the dugout, and I'm down in the bullpen, and the coach yells what down the a, bullpen. What is a bullpen? Oh, uh, that's where, like, the pitchers get warmed up to go into the oh. game. And so he's in, I'm down in the bullpen, he's in the dugout, and the coach signals to, for him to get ready, and he's not down in the bullpen, and you just see him run right out of the dugout, and he trips and falls and rolls over as he's running out of the dugout, and he gets right up immediately and sprints down the dugout, I mean the bullpen. But it was, it was really funny to watch, and, uh, and he played it off pretty well, but everyone was dying laughing. I tripped once, yeah. too. <laughs> See, mine is Florida, but do you have any favorite places for vacation? Uh, the Bahamas. I love to go to the Bahamas. It's only about an hour and 30-minute boat ride, so it's, it's a lot of fun to go over there and just relax. Where's the Bahamas? Uh, I don't really know so much about places. Florida, and then you have the Atlantic Ocean, and then Bahamas is about a little bit further east. Is it uh, be? Is it close to the Dominican Republic? Uh, it's a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yep. I might know that. Yeah. Um, do Do you have any like? Who inspired you to play baseball? Uh, I mean, I've always grown up watching the Red Sox. That's my favorite team. It's my dad's favorite team too, and. I kind of just fell in love with baseball. Um, I mean, I loved all sports growing up, but then I, I realized that I, I was the best in baseball, and I just want to kept, keep doing it and fell in love with it, and that's just what I've gone with my whole life. Do you have any siblings that play sports? I have two sisters. One sister is going to be a freshman in college next year, and she's not very athletic. And then I have another sister who's going to be a freshman in high school next year. And she has some athletic genes in her. She loves volleyball. She's really good. Too. I have a sister that plays volleyball, and yeah. I have a sister that's not athletic, but that's only because she chooses not to. But she's <laughs> a very good athlete. Yeah. Do you have any advice that you would give younger players as, a, as pitching or as pitching goes? Just uh, throw strikes. That's, that's the big advice. Well, you got to throw, throw strikes. strikes. You got to get batters out. Um, let them hit the ball and, and don't give up, I guess. You know, just, you got to stick with it. And, you know, as a pitcher, you're going to fail all the time. And you just can't, you can't give up. You got to keep going at it and have confidence always. See, my coach, since I've been pitching a little bit, yeah. I'm good at it, I think. Yeah. And she's been telling me to throw some of them so that the batters can hit it, so that the players in the outfield or something can yeah. get better. Exactly. Is that what your coach tells yeah. you to do? Yeah, he says let them hit it. You got, you just if you, they hit it, you're, you're going to get outs. The, the numbers are in your favor, so, yeah. Yeah, some people just don't choose to swing. That's true. They just That's wait for them to too. get. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are you an early riser or a night owl? I'm a little bit of both, I think. 
I can stay up late and, and still get up early. Uh, I can't sleep past nine. It's can't? just, nope, it's just, it's just we're so scheduled to it that it's tough to sleep past nine now. See, for me, I, I want to sleep in during weekdays right. and during the times that I have off, I just want to, I wake up yep. at like 6 a.m. Yep, that's how it is. Uh, um, do you bat left-handed or right-handed? Left, yep. Do you pitch right-handed or left-handed? Left, I'm a lefty. You're a lefty? Yep. See, I'm a righty. <laughs> yeah, that's all the questions I have for you today. Can you awesome. please sign this bat? Yeah, of course. I'm giving it to a little boy who loves the You've got it. Um, baseball. Let's see here. Turn around. Thank there you for go. watching Bat Bat Nation and we would like to see you we would like to see you watch this please next week. And we'll be here next week too. Thank you. Bye. Number 25, Chris Hada. Good Connecticut, the catcher, number 30, Connor Fitzsimon. Well, it's really good baseball. There's nothing like the sound of the crack of a wooden bat. <laughs>